Hey, it's Sean Mars with Hawkridge Systems, and let's talk about physics, gravity, and natural placement in Visualize Professional. physics simulator that arrived in Visualize 2019 allows you to represent physical interactions. The built-in gravity and shake options are going to give things a more natural arrangement in our scenes. First things first, we need to talk about selecting parts, groups, or models. The level at which you set physics determines how things behave. You can see here that at the part level, the lids fall off. But when set at the group level, they stay together. Physics settings are going to be edited at that selection level, so use the tree to keep track of what you're doing. The main setting will be static or dynamic. Set it to dynamic for anything that needs to move, bounce, or fall. Use static for anything you need those moving objects to interact and collide with. Next is collider geometry. This will determine how your objects will interact. Mesh is truer to the original shape, but also slows down the physics calculations. Bounding box is fast, but will overestimate the size and simplify the shape, so it may not collide well with other objects or sit entirely flat on the ground. The physical properties come in on the same defaults for everything, so adjustment may be necessary to get the desired behavior. For example, elasticity can be adjusted to get more bounce from falling objects. Now we are ready to run the simulation. Going down to the Simulation Manager, the Play button will start the physics calculations, allowing you to test your setup and save locations for static images. Press the plus button to save these physics states. You can have up to 11. The Record button will create keyframes for each dynamically simulated object, capturing their entire paths of motion, finishing once you click Stop. All keyframes are recorded simultaneously and must be done before those for other animations, such as moving cameras or changing lights. And lastly, the Shake tool will allow you to further scatter and arrange objects. This can be used for static images or recorded for animations. Let's go over a technique I like to use. We're going to use a generic open cylinder to contain the initial shaking of these gold coins. First, we'll add the generic shape from the new model dropdown, then scale and locate it where desired. Next, we'll turn on physics using the static option. Collider geometry should be set to mesh to keep coins from bouncing through the wall. Now, play the simulation and hold down the shake button. The longer you hold it, the more extreme the shaking will become. When you're satisfied with the distribution of objects, save a simulation state and click stop. Turn off physics for the cylinder and hide or delete it. Lastly, with the save state active, click play again and give it one last round of shaking to rough up the edges of the pile. I hope you liked this quick look at the physics simulator and Visualize Professional and how it can give your scenes a more natural feel and your animations a bit more action. Thanks for watching.